Saturn is a lot of people's favourite flamboyant planet, and it's not hard to see why, with that golden colour and those famous rings hanging in space. The Hubble Space Telescope has released a brand new image of the gas giant planet, and the interesting thing here is that the rings have started to contain interesting features that we don't yet know the cause of. Hubble has been producing gorgeous images of Saturn for years, including this stunning selection over recent times. And this latest one definitely fits in with the rest of these beauties. With this new image, we're heralding the start of spoke season for Saturn. That's right, move over spooky season, spoke season is the next big thing. During spoke season, mysterious features appear in the rings of Saturn. These radial features look a bit like the spokes on a bicycle wheel, and with this picture they are once again visible in the Saturnian bands. The exact cause of the rings and why they only appear seasonally is currently unknown, but as always we have some theories. Saturn's rotational axis is tilted, just like the Earth's, and hence it has four seasons just like the Earth. That said, since Saturn is much further away from the Sun, it has a much longer orbit, and so its seasons each last about seven Earth years. The spokes in Saturn's rings disappear when the tilt of the planet is pointing towards or away from the Sun, the so-called summer and winter solstices, but they appear most visibly when the tilt is edge on to the Sun. This occurs twice in each orbit, and are called the autumnal and vernal equinoxes. Yeah, I know, it's weird that for three of them we get the usual names for the seasons, but spring gets swapped out for vernal, just for a laugh. The autumnal equinox will happen on May 6th, 2025, and as that date gets closer, the spokes will get more and more visible, and they'll become more prominent and easier to see. What's even more interesting is we don't know the cause of these spokes. They've been observed before, by Hubble, Voyager, and the Cassini mission that visited Saturn during a two decade long journey that started in 1997. Voyager was actually the first mission to see those spokes, and their appearance can change from dark to light, depending on the viewing angle of the telescope we're using. Nowadays, Voyager has well and truly left the solar system, and Cassini crashed into the ring giant in 2017. And so Hubble is taking up the mantle of chief spoke watcher. Saturn's last equinox was in 2009, and that's when Cassini caught these cool images of the transient spokes. Since then, we haven't solved the mystery of the cause of the spokes, but we do have some theories. The leading one of these ideas, and to be honest it is often what we use to try to explain things we don't understand, but the leading theory is the planet's variable magnetic field. The idea is similar to how we get the northern and southern lights on Earth. When radiation is thrown off by the sun in solar winds, they interact with planetary magnetic fields and can create an electrically charged environment. On Earth, when the charged particles then hit atoms in the atmosphere, they emit light and give the northern and southern lights. That's why those things are concentrated at the poles, because that's where the magnetic field lines direct the particles. We think the smallest, dust-sized particles in the rings might get charged up as well by the magnetic field, and this could cause them to sort of levitate or float above the main rings a little bit, causing the bright or dark spokes, depending on the position of the sun and the telescope. Admittedly, levitate and float are weird words to use here because everything in space is kind of floating, but you get the idea, it moves them out of the plane of the rings, causing them to react differently to the sunlight and either light up more or less than the rings. Presumably, the radial nature of the spokes is because those charged particles are also following the magnetic lines of Saturn. Despite all of the great observations we've seen of the spokes, ultimately, we still don't know that much about them. We don't really know what causes them and aren't even that good at predicting exactly when they'll start appearing or how long they'll last. Although, thanks to this picture, we can say that spoke season has officially started once again. Also, there are three other ringed planets in the solar system, and we don't yet know about whether they all display spoke behaviour or not. If any of them do, I hope it's Uranus, because it already rolls around the sun with a very lopsided axis, so giving it some spokes would make it even more wonderfully wheel-like. Hit me up with your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Until next time, stay spoke team, I'll see you soon. Bye!